Hey everyone, this is Emily with Snake Discovery. Today I took in a wounded tiger salamander and he's missing a leg. My cousin found him in their yard and we're pretty sure that their neighbor's dog must have dug him up in the middle of hibernation because it's winter right now and he must have played with it a bit, tore off a leg and then just left it there. So my cousin brought him in, brought him to me and I'll be showing you video updates of his leg regrowing. I'll show you what I have him set up in and after getting him used to room temperature again, we slowly acclimated him since he was in the snow before. We didn't want him to go into shock. He's still pretty scared, so I'll leave him there, but I have him in with some damp paper towels and wet moss. And I'll just show you a picture of what his leg looks like because I don't want to stress him out more than I have to. Now, of course, the first thing you'll notice is that his front left leg is missing altogether. And yes, that is a bone sticking out of his leg. But if you move towards the back of his body, you'll see that his back legs are pretty swollen and they do seem relatively stiff. So we'll see what happens with those. Now I'm going to show you a close-up picture of his missing leg. So if you're squeamish, maybe fast forward a few seconds. Here it is. It's... oh man, I feel so bad for this little guy. But it doesn't seem to be fading him, surprisingly. He still wiggles around like a normal salamander. So it's been about three weeks since we took Thomas home, and as of today, he's starting to eat worms from tongs, which tells me he must be feeling a lot better because he didn't want to eat much when we first brought him home. But check this out. This is just amazing. He has healed up around where his leg was torn off. There doesn't seem to be any sign of infection, so now it's just a matter of time until he regrows the limb. We'll check back in a couple of weeks. Suck that one down, boy. So it's been about a month since we took him in. He has a huge appetite, which is great. He eats just about everything. And if you look close, you'll see a little bit of a nub there. So his leg is officially starting to regrow. It's been about a month now since we took Thomas in. He's still wiggly, but now that his leg has healed, it's amazing to see how fast it's regrowing. Look at that. So it's about seven weeks now, and Thomas is growing toes. It's so cool. It reminds me of Deadpool regrowing his hand. Calm down, calm down. Maybe I can turn him. There we go. Look at that. Hi. Check out his little toes. If he would stop moving. Ugh. Right. I have so much energy. Yeah. I want to run everywhere. It's been two months now. He has toes that are starting to grow in and an elbow. So he's able to support himself with his new leg. This will be my last update with Thomas the Salamander, as it appears as though his leg has stopped growing. There's no need for it to be as big as the original, I guess, as long as he has a fully functioning elbow and toes, which he does. And it's been about four and a half months now since we took him in, and he has just been a huge trooper throughout this entire process, which has just been amazing to watch. So if there are any large improvements after I publish this video, I'll do an update, but for now, I think I think he's all healed up.